video, we're going to be showing you how to make this wreath from our Believe Christmas theme. And for the first time ever, we are offering these in kit form. Now what you will get in the kit is one 24-inch princess wreath, a bolt of the red diamond mesh ribbon, a bolt of print ribbon, a bundle of the tubing, one larger green ornament and one medium size red ornament and this resin elf ornament to go on here. So now I'm going to show you how to put this together. So we're going to start off with our largest ribbon which is a six inch diamond mesh with red glitter. We're going to leave a tail of about so long. Um, that's about a foot and we're going to gather that in and do your half twist. Now this is wired ribbon and we're going to do three loops of that. Again doing that half twist with each one. There is just a bow tying video also online if you wish to view that just to, to see in more detail and and a little slower of how to tie the bow. Okay, so we have three loops there and we're going to tie that into the wreath uh, between 10 and 11 o'clock if you were imagining your wreath to be a clock. So you're going to have it just a little to the left of top center. Shape those loops out and have your tail going to the left. And then we're just going to leave this bolt laying here then and we're going to start with our next ribbon which is our print. Again leave that 12 inch long tail and do a three loop bow. Now in particular it's very important with print ribbons that you always do that half twist so that the back side is always on the inside of your loop. But um, also, you know, that twist and it being tight gives your loops more body. Okay, we're going to tie that in the center of our first bow. Nice and tight. And spread those out. And again, let this tail come over. Now then, We have our mesh tube going on and we'll do a three loop bow with that also. And we're going to tie that in the middle. And we're going to bring that on down and now then we are going to come across and you want it to bow out just a little bit but not very much so say come out to the edge of your wreath for your for your guide and this is down at about the five o'clock position and gather your ribbons up and then move up into that wreath and tie down using your greenery pieces. And then you're ready to trim. So you can leave just a short tail. Um, I like it so that it can hang just a tiny bit. If you wanted a longer tail you could use one depending on where you're going to use this. Okay, and now then I'm going to come back up here and put in another loop, well not loop, but length of my mesh and bring that down and tie it also. That gives me just a little more texture. Now then I'm ready for ornaments. At the bottom 
I'm going to take my resin elf and I'm going to spread glue across his back. Okay. And I'm going to press down where I tied those tails down. Press across there, making sure that the glue is coming in contact with the greenery as well as the ribbon. This gives him a good support. Okay, so then we're going to let that cool. And we're going to add our other ornaments. We have our larger green one. And I'm going to put that into the center with it being toward the bottom of the center of the bow and slightly toward the right on an angle because that is the heaviest in this case. And since I'm only using two ornaments there, I want more of my weight toward the bottom than the top. And then I'm doing the same thing with the red one. And hold those there for a second so that the glue can harden. And there you have your completed wreath. I hope this inspires you some, whether you're using the kit that you can purchase online from Trees and Trends, or whether you're using your own ribbon and ornaments, feel free to try this, uh, try different combinations, get inspired, and enjoy. Mm -hmm.